Last thing I'm going to do is add a little cylinder to this, uh, this stem right below this trigger. And do that, I'm just going to orient it over here. I'm going to use the IMM Primitives H. And we're going to turn off symmetry and just draw this out. And it's going to mask off the polygroup, which is fine. We can bring it to the front. It's going to mask off the subtool, excuse me, just to fit the reference. And that should put it right about where I need it. We're going to split this off, split the unmasked points. I'm going to do a little bit of work to this. Increase the polygroups. I'm not going to worry too much about um, incredible amounts of detail here. So let's go ahead and turn everything off temporarily. Let's see, I've got that, and I've got this. Let's turn on live booleans, and we'll make a new boolean mesh, and go ahead and let ZBrush process this. And this is the result. Again, it's going to be pretty dense. Uh, if we want to, we can, you know, bring this count down, uh, make a duplicate and Dynamesh this to bring this down a little bit. Um, I'm around 6 million points. If you're somewhere in between 4 and 6 million, that's going to be acceptable um, for this particular high poly object. Uh, if you want to do some sculpting in there to, you know, create a little bit of some transition that's a little bit more uneven between there you may um, this is a pretty small you know thing on a prop so I usually don't go ahead and, and bother with things like that uh, the surfaces are more than going to take care of any of the detail I just want to bring back the body into the base object that has the rest of the uh, subdivided things of the trigger and the pin and everything like that so let's append this merged body to things, and then we'll go through and we can turn on what we need. There's the pin, there's that, the pin base, there's the bands, the screws, and the body. So I can go into the Subtool Master now that I have everything visible that needs to be visible make sure I'm on one of the things that I'm keeping not one of the cylinders go to my subtool master and I can delete whatever is invisible it's an undoable operation so make sure that you save everything out so I created this cube form that's attached to the U hook for the pin and went ahead and created that subdivided it uh, at its base position, it's pretty simple, just a cube, uh, and I tried to evenly subdivide it just so that the subdivisions at the edges were equidistant. Because if you have long rectangles, you know, again, it's going to subdivide along this axis. This will be shorter in the z-axis, but then you won't get the same beveling results with your creases. Um, you know, you'd have to create a bevel in order to get that. So. It's got a lot of subdivisions, um, and for as little as going is going on on the surfaces, you know, it's pretty excessive. But really, what I'm striving for are just good form transitions, because a lot of the surface work, um, in terms of high frequency, low relief, I'm going to do in Substance Painter. So what I'd like to see are all of your high resolution subdivided surfaces uh, with their their subdivision levels intact I'd like to see that for everything from the rings that support the core that cover the core to the whole base objects don't uh, merge or live boolean any of those together pins keep them separate at the base the screws keep them separate as a group and then the, the body that we boolean together and did some sculpting on uh, that can be together 
uh, having polygroups will be helpful in the event that we need to make any modifications but you should and you very much must have your low poly versions in a different Z project file make sure that you have them saved make sure you're working in iterations uh, because that will guarantee that you have been developing this work yourself you can show the proof of the levels of development as you've been following along to the demonstration videos uh, it also guarantees that if you have to backtrack and go back to some of your low-resolution objects at a certain stage that you may do so and you can you know modify them pretty well at this point if modifications need to be made you can do them at the lowest subdivision level and then bring them back up um, I would just say, you know, be mindful of how far you go with that before uh, things have to be uh, broken up or subdivision levels have to be deleted. Uh, usually with things like DynaMesh that's, and ZRemesher, that's, that's an issue. But right now, uh, I'm just looking for the high-resolution assets. You know, concern yourself with consistent detail along the edges, consistent bevels if need be, and just getting all of your forms accurate to the reference.